Hey y'all. It's been a minute, <laughs> ain't it? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Maybe she going on and on. Just for the first group. Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Sag, Aries, Capricorn. Y'all know what y'all integrating into. Eastern astrology. Put it together. Do the magic. Stay magical. Stay in your magic. This is going to be magical tips just to keep it light because there's some heavy shit going on. For those of us rolling in the deep. You can't go nowhere but deep. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing else to do. So you be having to get up off of that shit for a minute. Because honey baggy. And they had a topical storm. I call man-made storms topical storms. When it's witches, the weather girls playing games. Trying to destroy property and do all kind of shit. Like... It knocked the power out, excuse me, for days and days and days. So people had to dump all their food, grocery stores all empty, it's so all fucked up. Dark witches like that kind of shit. They celebrate when they do it. They got a like obsession with cause and effect. They do it in the dark and then watch the shit what happens. With what they did. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Did they end up needing stuff from the grocery store just like regular people? Like, what the fuck? Honey, make it make sense, y'all. You ain't gonna be able to. That's where you gotta lay up off that motherfucking shit. For real. I had to take a break break. So, I don't know. I had wrote out some stuff before this little power outage situation. So I'm just gonna read what I channel because I was supposed to do a reading then that happened. It's like Mercury retrograde. They was working that just to disrupt shit. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> some bad, I said, I be saying a lot, you got some bad ass kids. For real. Okay, it says side dudes and side chicks infiltrated divine unions in fear of homelessness, celibacy, and irrelevance. Be mindful of what you share, especially if you're a home-based business. Try to keep it to one room. They try to catch divine unions off seasons where there's transformations happening, personal growth or transitioning is happening untimely deaths, moving, children going to college, or new schools, pressure points where a lot of output is required from a divine family or divine masculine. They try to find your internal Achilles heel within your unions. If you're a divine union that's limited in what you share, or if you only share positivity, you're a target. Don't be so inviting or you'll have to deal with the hard lessons that come with entering a holy matrimony. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's a gamble to do any type of recording if you're home-based or if you get paid via social media. If they haven't ravaged your fucking life and how you get money. It's, it's dangerous to record anything in your bedroom. It's a no-no, especially if you're in a divine union. Not laying in the bed, not getting dressed, nowhere in your bedroom. I'm trying to tell you. I would, I would advise keeping sleepovers at a minimum or none at all, sleepovers. So if you got children, keep sleepovers at a minimum. Demonic entities, attachments become accumulated 
dark forces that wreak havoc. They don't care that their host is a small child. Most parents don't do their due diligence on spiritual detox baths for babies, toddlers, you know, small children. They just don't do energetic clearing. It's, I don't know if it's, you know, ignorance, not, not knowing, or taboo, or just not considering it. So, I mean, if you don't have any kind of protection on your children, if you peep Hindu children... Even the babies, just if you ever see a Hindu child or a baby, they keep their hair. If it's a girl or a boy, they keep their hair cut low. They, um, you may see some of them with a bendy on, that's the red dot in the middle of their head to protect their third eye. You may see them, they babies, yeah, they're babies. You may see them with bracelets on, like some type of metal. It's a reason for that. You may see them with anklets on. You know, and you would say, oh, that's cute. But that's your point. You know, you don't have to be so obvious. You know, I go third eye. I went third eye with my son. I didn't give a damn. I went obvious. And you don't have to go obvious. I went evil eye protection on, on a bracelet side. And put it around his ankle. Yeah. Or copper sometimes. I think I might have did copper on me. I may have never done copper on him. Or I did brass or copper and he didn't, kept taking it off or something like that. Because it was to him obvious. Like, no, you just look like a cool kid. You know? <sighs> The evil eye was more obvious than the bracelet that I had got. It was some type of metal. Anyway, keep that in mind. It'll be less attacks on guardians, seers, messengers, warners, and more attacks on the human populace who doesn't take heed to the warnings or the warning signs. And my ancestors said that some divine masculines and some divine feminines were rooted at four years old. It's real specific. Spiteful and envious people. By spiteful and envious people. So these would be haters of the divine masculine or the divine feminine's mother. Could it sit somebody that babysat some of you or something? Some of y'all need to know that. That's why your um, counterpart acts a certain type of way. It's a root work. When, when, it's a, when it's undone, when it's being undone, oh, it gets tricky. <laughs> it gets tricky. If you're not aware of what, you, what you're looking at, you know, it'll become a blame game because it seems like they can't stop doing so-and-so, whatever that is. Drinking, drugs, Sex and then some of them were after. I mean, four years old rooted. It kind of was an attractor to the wrong vibrations. So more roots came possibly when they got older through sexual encounters. Like you set up for failure when you get rooted that early. Real talk, and they know what the fuck they do. You know. It's, it's, it's some people you can sing that or say, you know, forgive them, Father, for they know that what they do. You can go, Jesus. Then some of them know exactly what they're doing. Just spiteful and envious people. Manipulators. Cunning. Tricky. Weird, to say the least. If you are a guide of any kind, I'd advise you to build up your spiritual arsenal and get out of a nine to five mode. So some people watching this, you may read tarot or you're a spiritual guide, any spiritual advice, any kind. You talk about demons, whatever the case may be, you gotta get out of nine to five. 
even though the attacks will lessen, the attacks ain't going to stop. You wouldn't have a lingo in the tarot world or in the spiritual world called psychic, psychic attacks. It's a such thing. No different than somebody saying they have high blood pressure. It's just psychics get attacked. This has been going on for a long time where it's just like, you know, you know that's what comes along with the job kind of shit. You know? So try to shift out of that nine to five mode if you got a platform. You know, you're at the desk, you're doing the cards, you're giving all this great advice, and you're not considering the spiritual arsenal you're requiring to counter attack without, you know, being specific. It's really just a protection piece, like a shield of sorts. Yeah. Because you'll still be attacked for the truth and guidance you're giving. Less was the verbiage these entities use. So they'll be attacking us less. Not they're going to stop, period. No. <laughs> so you got to build up your spiritual arsenal. You know, it's different from a corporate nine to five. They want you to get in that mode so they can just have their way lowered kind of shit. You know, you may have this that worked at a certain time. You may have an evil eye that shows that worked at a certain time, you got to up the ante. Maybe you got to do something to clear the evil eye now instead of letting it accumulate in that black dot where darkness goes in the evil eye. You got to up the ante and you got to stay on top of it like you clean your house, like you wash your ass, like you brush your teeth. You can't soften the truth to prevent attacks. You have to build up your esoteric arsenal. Go extreme on energy clearing and protection of your person, you, yourself, your mate, your children, and your property. The plot's thicken. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, we've all it in a D. And you want to switch up small routines for alchemical and awareness reasons. That's why I said get out of 9 to 5. Even if you're not a spiritualist and you have a platform, get out of a 9 to 5. You know, because people get comfortable with attacking you. They know your schedule. They know how you're going to do shit. These people are so obsessed. It's ridiculous with the remote viewing. That shit ain't stopped. You know... I'm hearing some of them know what color you're going to wear. That kind of shit, you got to switch it up. If you wear black all the time, add some white, get some white, wear white all the time, or throw some color in your wardrobe. Do something different to switch up your own awareness and alchemically changing something so that you can get um, like a natural transmutation a natural hands-off alchemical process going in your life where you kind of build your world like an oasis in the desert, you know? So it's kind of be, it's like making yourself unfuckwithable, however, still considering that you can be touched. Don't get too comfortable. It doesn't matter where you live. Killers live next to whoever the fuck. Ancestors say, why carry what you don't have to? Rid yourself of any and all unnecessary burdens attached to your past and your enemies. Someone else's problems do not have to become your problems. Your normally, excuse me, your normalcy is the standard. You listening to your parents and taking sound advice is the standard. Not cutting corners and minding your business is the standard. 
these are people y'all around. Y'all got to deal with these kind of people that are accusatory or, you know, mad at life, mad at themselves for the choices that they made. May say you think you're a goody two shoes or, you know, oh, look at mommy's little girl. It's just, you know, little sly remarks. You don't nobody got time for that stupid ass shit. Y'all just around some petty ass people that cut corners and mad at themselves for real. However, they do project. When your life is in motion based on convictions, strong ones, and their structure, you grant yourself the protection of the divine in any and many forms, seen and unseen. Example, your enemies, they did this to some of you. Your enemies seeking to stop your progress will send a man or a woman with HIV or herpes your way and you'll go untouched is just the way it is for some of us with strong convictions some of them are obsessed with them doing shit to y'all and y'all don't even know that it's somebody being sent y'all way for y'all to date or people being sent your way to talk to you in a grocery store and at the bank it doesn't matter just these weird ass people obsessed with some of y'all because y'all tend to give off some type of magical presence or something or they know that they send people to do certain shit to you and you bounce back from it you don't get the disease you don't get whatever it is they're sending to you they get obsessed with it not touching you it's like <laughs> you know like keep trying like making you target practice however like not getting a job done and they're obsessed with the fact that they can't, they can't get the job done. So they just keep doing shit. And sometimes things may touch you, you know? Or they don't see it in your face or they'll hear it in your voice. Through whatever platform you have. Always trying to gauge and see what the fuck your Achilles heel is. These type of weird, obsessive motherfuckers. Something new. Some of y'all just something new. These people just, you know, some of y'all may have been late bloomers or you blossomed in your own way and people didn't know that you were as funny as you are, as creative as you are, as brilliant as you are, as intelligent as you are, whatever it is. It's just something new, you know. It's, it's a drag. For some of y'all. Some of y'all don't even know it's a fucking drag. Yeah. Because you think they natural occurrences. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Six of uh, voices. It's like the six of uh, yeah, six of swords. They trying to just tip y'all over the edge. Put y'all. I'm trying to tell you they obsessed. You see how her fingers is just, I mean, just constantly doing shit to y'all. To push y'all over the edge, bro. And y'all be thinking it's some natural occurrence and just be, you know, rolling with it, baby. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to share with y'all. That's what you got to do, too. And this is <laughs> so on point, Knight of Wands. Um, they're doing love spells. They're doing a lot of love spells. So you got to roll with that kind of shit. You really do. I got to use the restroom. So y'all got to excuse me. Y'all know I be drinking my water and turmeric and honey. Let me tell you something. If you tried it, you understand what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> we going to touch on this shit. Yeah, these love spells are ridiculous. <laughs> these motherfuckers are take mine, man. They really is. You just got to roll with it and say, hey, man.
for y'all boy. They do some shit where it's kind of like Mercury retrograde. You know, they say be mindful of your ex is coming back. They listen to that kind of shit and they do their magic around that kind of shit. You know, waiting for certain moon cycles. Waiting for something to just creep up, you know. It says focus on your life purpose instead of your divine mate's flaws. Because some of y'all divine mates were rooted at a young age. Some of them specifically four years old. Some of them at 22 years old. This is the time on the clock. Nine of Wands energy is definitely around that age. Just made them promiscuous as fuck. Just silly, stupid ass bitches, okay? However they related or unrelated. You know, they guilty like a motherfucker. However, you know, it's kind of like sending vibes your way or thoughts your way to think of them. You may pick up the phone, may text them, may ask how did I even get into this, especially when it becomes an argument or something. They may send energy for you to, you know, get into some type of sexual activity, sexual energy to try to connect with you. If they know they can't connect with you physically, they may try to do it spiritually so that they can try to get in physically because you don't understand and you roll them with it in a way that's innocent when you need to roll with it aware so that you can find out who people are, especially if they're that obsessed or trying to get over on you or trying to manipulate you or trying to put you in a real crazy situation that's not to your benefit. You just got to know who you're dealing with. So, you know, yeah, defeat. You know, it's kind of like rolling with it is playing with it. So you can see exactly what this motherfucker is about, you know. We all grown watching this. Mm-hmm. That's the only way you can get out of some love spell shit. For real, they watch y'all to see. I'm trying to tell you. They'll do a love spell when you, if you're in union, they'll do a love spell on you or your divine masculine. Your divine feminine, but shit. If they smell a winter season about how you post, um, so this and that, like you don't have a husband or like you don't have a wife or like you don't have a man or you don't have a woman. They, t they see, they, I'm telling, listen. Wait for the right opportunity to strike, to push you over the edge. Separation, divorce, whatever. It ain't going to be a best situ the best situation for you. It ain't going to serve your greater good. Y'all ain't good. A lot of moon magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of y'all got to get out of this. Nine to five mode. Wake up. You're attacking the fuck out of y'all. I can see it. I just don't say anything. Because it's not really my obligation. And some people don't listen to you anyway. So it's kind of like. A waste of words. I can see where a tarot reader was looking a certain type of way and then her looks go on a decline. She may pick up weight, may get darker, they may start fucking with her hair, and start losing hair, you know, money start getting funny, she can't get it done as much. They attack, that's just a psychic attack, that's what they do. That's why I said, get out of 9 to 5 mode, I don't want y'all getting attacked. If you know, if you can find it, because it's really like an initiation thing too. Kind of like your ancestors be saying, okay, you just going to sit there and act like you work at, um, shit, <laughs> T-Mobile or some shit. You just go sit here and act like you work for, um, I don't know, y'all, some type of office gig. Shit. Four cups. I'm trying to tell you, so be all scratched. So be all the bottom mouse, you know, scratched out. Mm-hmm. Y'all got to be careful. And some people don't have nothing else to do but just sit. 
and cast these weird love spells. They've been doing it for so long. Some shit you never think of that men are doing. Yeah, they are. In order to trap you so that they can feed off of you. Get you pregnant, pump you full of a baby, and get you to working for them. And, you know, getting your good welfare and all kind of shit. Honey, please, these motherfuckers stay booking ahead. Okay? I'm trying to tell you. This is all they know. And it's even because some of them that are karmics were rooted. They just don't care. You know? Some of y'all divine masculines were rooted to the point that they couldn't even articulate what they were doing to them. Attacking their throat chakra. Just shutting them down. But they couldn't tell you if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. That's why I said stop focusing on your divine mate's flaws. Y'all be going too hard on them. And they can't really take the heat y'all be bringing. Because y'all be so cold, yet, you know, rough around the edges. Because everybody been hurt and taken advantage of. People just sick of it. And it's a fight or flight thing, for real. They have to understand it from your perspective, too. However, focusing on the flaws when you should really be, uh, if you care enough, dissecting them. If you see a pattern. If they stop communicating or they don't talk or something. You know what I'm saying? Just odd ass shit. Stranger things, you know? A lot of weird shit going on. I tell you that much. Mm-hmm. Insane. Yeah, some of them were rooted. Yeah, trapped by an insane person. Your enemy trying to find your weaknesses. Mm-hmm. Trying to find your weaknesses. Mm-hmm. All the time, minding your motherfucking business like they don't. I mean, that's all they know. Take crazy as fuck. See? Possible spell work. Wants to change, but can't. See? I'm telling you. It's true. Five of Swords situation. Got them all the way fucked up, y'all. Got their body on a pentagram or some shit somewhere. Like they a fucking rag down. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all don't want to see how bad this shit really the fuck is. You know, sometimes you just be saying shit. And don't really consider what you're saying. Sometimes you just think a thought and don't consider the thought. I'm on the bottom of the deck, and I'm going to show you all the three that fell on the floor. An insane person. Mm -hmm. Could have rooted some of them at 22. Could have rooted some of them early. And it slowly, you know, took shape and form and started growing. And started making them act weird as fuck. Dating everybody but the right person. Anybody that will use them, work the fuck out of them, all kind of shit. And they want to change, you can't change. Some of y'all dealing with the King of Pentacles energy, or some of these from Virgo men dealing with an insane person. See, this is saying create a love making room. If you had a love making room, why in the fuck would you turn on your camera for the whole world? You might as well, damn, like Cardi B said. I told Offset we should make that porn. You might as well make some damn porn if you go turn on your damn phone in your bedroom. People be on their bed, in the bed, death in their bedroom, in the bed. You shouldn't even really have altars in your bedroom. Like grandparents and parents and stuff like that. Not in your bedroom. You know, just be careful with that shit. The sun exposed, yeah. Possible spell work. It's spell work. Wants to change but can't change. Mm-hmm. Get them trapped on all kind of shit. Alcohol, lean, and break their major organs down and then get the insurance money off of it. They do men so motherfucking dirty. If women really understood, they wouldn't talk about them another day. They own twin. Mm-hmm. Turn them into this. Turn them inside out. You see? 
Some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Pisces. Turn them inside out, especially Pisces. Capricorns too, because they rule obsession and sex and all of that stuff. And then Pisces, because you're so empathetic, highly empathetic. If their parents don't give them the game on it, or if they got a perverted parent that did something to them, done. Early. Very, very impressionable. I told this girl in the grocery store, she had a, a Pisces baby. I said, please watch her. You got to be on top of her like you just would not even understand. You got to literally make sure you watch every motherfucker that's in her ear talking. You know? For real. Anybody, because she was so friendly. Just waving at everybody, blowing everybody kisses in the store. I said, what's her birthday? She said, March something. I said, oh, Lord, please, please. Listen, <laughs> she thought I was crazy. I didn't give a damn. I did not give a damn. Mm-hmm. Page of Cups. Yeah, some of y'all. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Got touched as an early at an early age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of y'all don't know. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all saying, see, what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They really did. Mm-hmm. It's to, it's to keep showing a little boy energy. Mm-hmm. Fucked up. Fucked up. Fucked up. Fucked up. If y'all, some of y'all were intimate with this person, y'all divine mate, uh, y'all broke it. If y'all went into separation, they was around some crazy women. Mm -hmm. Went on attack mode. Now turn this into them. Who was that trying to talk to our neighborhood dick? You see? Nuts. Like he's just a tool for them. When they want to get their rocks off. Like a, like acting like men. The wrong way men shouldn't act like that. They acting like rooted men. Because they could possibly be rooted too. Touch too. They just perpetuate it. They don't do their work. To clear up generational karma and trauma and all the shit. You know? Abusive. Real abusive situations. For some of y'all dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Don't even know, didn't even know how to deal with somebody like y'all. Mm-hmm. 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 Some of y'all could be a fire sign. You're more like this versus the insane card. They could be a fire sign too. Just two different people. So they don't know how to relate to that. You know. And then some divine fans don't know how to relate to a good man because they deal with these guys. So, you see all the work that got to be done? So much work to do. See why you should build your spiritual arsenal? Mm -hmm. Even if you work a nine to five? Mm-hmm. And do your thing. Some of y'all may want to do some people. Let me tell you something. If you if you're one of those people that love Jesus for real and ain't BSing, and you know the cross is your thing, my godmother said, take him off the cross. So don't deal with nothing with Jesus on the cross. You want to deal with crosses with Jesus is off the cross. Because she told my mother he rose. So I don't know why you sitting up there with that necklace on. He still put, he got him up there. He got off the cross. And he died and he got the keys and he got all power in his hands. <laughs> Imagine me as a little girl laughing and my mother looking so silly because she just got checked by an elder that's older than her. It's real funny. <laughs> so, I mean, you can, you can go, you can go extreme on crosses around your house. They're effective. You feel me? Do it how you do it. What you're comfortable to do. You can put scriptures. You If you wanted to do scriptures and crosses in your house like you was insane, do you hear me? You would know that that's something for you to do because wherever you go, you're going to see a little picture affordable with a scripture on it. And that's how you build your arsenal. 
Alright, man, we gotta tell the story. You go to the family dollar, there'd be a little thing in there. Be still and know that I am God. <laughs> You're like, this ain't nothing but three dollars? You see? Just how you build your arsenal. And just put it everywhere. Mm hmm. I'm telling y'all, need to do something. Sit up there like you at, like you at the nine to five. Some of y'all, some of the nine to fivers do it because they understand. They don't be more read tarot. They got a deck here and take there. I have a, you know. Mm hmm. Yeah, y'all real different from this person. This person is crazy. They just real see me, see me off the hook, impulsive, crazy. Y'all more reserved. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the women that y'all divine masculine was dealing with were fiery natured women, just karmic energies, just pop off loud, really not who they are. End up leaving them like this. Y'all, some of y'all return them to they soul, back to they soul. These motherfuckers was taking they shit, soul snatchers, man eaters. For real. It's inhumane. And you have to sometimes wake people up to how inhumane they are. If they don't know, they can give as vile as they need to. That's what exorcisms are all about. You still got to face the reality of what you're doing or what you've done. It's inhumane. And you're a human being. That's what you say, you know. Page of voices. Yeah, some of them dealing with some young girls, flighty, weird, just a bunch of stupid shit that y'all don't have time for. Y'all be sitting, chilling. Y'all ain't, bitch. Listen, come with the dumb shit and I'm going to give you something to cry about kind of shit. For real. To me, I need to burn some lavender. Be careful, though. Because they're using all kind of shit to loop people into taking them home to play video games, eat pizza, and watch Netflix. Weird. Just random men. <laughs> you know? Seriously. Mm-hmm. Trying to just catch some people, women up in a web, slipping. Hearing you talking about your divine masculine. He's uh, where's the man? Where I need a man. You know what I say? Watch what you ask for. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all are in separation. Mm-hmm. Some of these people are going to jail with their extra savvy ass. You know, they switch characters. They're crazy. Always feeling fine on cloud nine, you know. And they're going to get grounded and go to jail so that they can really understand who they mad at, which is themselves and God, not you. They just think it's you. They thought it was the last woman they was fucking with connected to your divine masculine. Boy, do some women got a story to tell. Mm-hmm. Single. Some of y'all. Empresses. Yeah. Some Virgo Libra cuspers. Mm hmm. Some people understand. And y'all got y'all shit together, and y'all about to keep building y'all arsenal and really get into it. Because you know, it feel good when you know without doubts that you was born to do whatever it is that you're doing. And it doesn't matter what people say or do or what they done or tried to do to you as a child. Now, some of these people got to go deal with that shit. You know, seriously. You can't avoid it. Mm-hmm. Because once it comes down on your ass, what you've been doing, you can't avoid it. Life speeds up like a motherfucker. You know? Some people going to be going away fast, getting locked up fast. For whatever reason. Some of y'all may do stuff to combat it or, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, it's about to get people locked the fuck up by the holiday. When's the next holiday? Halloween. Labor Day. 
Labor Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. So you got four months of people getting locked the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They they done. They cooked. They half baked. They fucked up. You know? And some of them were rooted as small children. And guess what? Some parents prayed to root off. And then some ancestors, I'm telling y'all this, my mother is off the hook. Wrong with her. My mother is so off the hook, it don't make no sense. This one right here. They God rest her soul. They're praying off of the child. And then you should never fuck with nobody that's older than you and wiser than you. You know, even if the fact that they're older than you, if you're watching them and you're hearing them and they're not talking stupid, you know, mumbo jumbo, player player, you know, or, you know, girl, you know, uh, uh, you know the little cliches on like selling your vagina, shit like that. People that you really shouldn't listen to, you listen to them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. However, when they talking like they got a sense in their head, you should. How the fuck do you think you're gonna get over on your parents? So some people, the root was prayed off of them, and then the parents sat back, like they say, see what people would rather do. They just sit back and see what the child would rather do. And then that would get give them the uh, leg up to gauge who to leave an inheritance to, who's the more responsible, you see? So some of those people got themselves in the situation because their parents prayed the root off of some of them because they knew it when they seen it like this. This is how bad it was, especially if they come up out of the South. Like... See what they're exhibiting. People that were born in hotter regions, southern regions, or wherever it's hotter at. Could be the Middle East or some shit like that. Where it's prevalent and they know it. When they see it, they don't talk about it. In the black community, they really don't talk about it. It's a science to it, though. The reason why they don't talk about it. Kind of like uh, my mother used to say, let it all come out in the wash kind of situation. So you kind of... Um, you kind of, it used to work. It don't work no more because everybody's like this, avoiding the work. So people's um, worlds are colliding with your world where you can have the oasis in the desert. Now I'm telling y'all to start building so that you can have it. So clearly we getting somewhere. However, it's still fucked up because there's so many adults just like this. Because their inner child is suffering. They don't know how to get to it because of the compounded trauma that they some some of them they themselves caused. But yeah, you can look right at it. See, oh, what the fuck? You know? For real, just imagine a child like this. All uh, playful. You see how playful she is? She's using her imagination. That's a good thing. Look at the grown woman. Now imagine a parent sees their child go from this type of vibe to this. Let's see, what the fuck? Pray it off of them and then sit back and see what they would rather do. Then they go left. <laughs> it's tactics and strategies that you have to do because of a lot of people not knowing that some people, i seen a tarot reader today. I can't remember her name. It's Oshun something. However, sometimes when I'm watching different tarot readings, their ancestors just talk to me about them. And her particular situation is kind of good and it's kind of bad because she's like the last person to... They gave me the last name, Coleman, C-O-L-E-M-A-N. So uh, just say the name Coleman is not um, unpopular, you know, sort of like Smith, Johnson, that kind of stuff. However, those particular Colemans would just get flushed out because so many people didn't do the work. And a lot of times when those type of people, those type of families get flushed out, it's because they were very, very um, brilliant, bright lights. 
you know, and it, sometimes it was a lot of them. And then you get people, you get spirits that will peek that shit and feel like they can hide in the crowd. Then bodies start dropping. People start dying. These are like black widows type of bitches. Pirates. Just come to kill, steal, and destroy. Uh, they won't miss. They got, they got, let's just say, they got 500 Coleman's now. They won't, we can go in there. They won't miss a few people. Getting insurance money. All this pre-planning this shit. Pre-planting it. Yeah. The earth is very old. So you can't say what wouldn't what didn't happen, what couldn't happen, what happened. You feel me? <laughs> it ain't it ain't a, it's called a revelatory word for a reason. Things you have to be revealed to you that you may have already known. You just you know, earth happens, life happens. Then you get amnesia. You should be going on, you know. <laughs> for real, gotta pay that rent, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, she's the, the tarot reader I was watching. She's the last person that can save the day, basically, because you have to feed your ancestors. You have to feed, like, like this is real life. This is not a game. If you get somebody, if you get people to keep doing shit to kill off a lineage or a bloodline, it is what it is if they succeed. Because they thought, you know, they can hide in the crowd. Yet, you keep doing it, and the crowd is getting less and less. And then when people cross over, people don't do their due diligence with altars, offerings, and none of that shit. And ancestors do get fatigued. They can't fight on your behalf if you're not giving them water or something. Burning candles, doing something. Working with them. Not against them. Being consistent. Not on and off. Not thinking they're your maid or your puppet. Like, you know. Homegirls got some of the divine masculines on a goddamn voodoo doll. Yeah, it's crazy. It really is. Some people coming into some strong ass realizations. Some of these motherfuckers been doing shit so long one way. But they're not, they can't play no more. Their inner child is calling, you know? Hey, there's some things going on that you need to deal with and stop worrying about somebody's dick. You see? Stop worrying about that girl's platform and all of this and that. There's some things that happen to us. Like the child self talking to the self, the adult so-called that lost their fucking mind. Some of them I heard just gone off spell work. Backfiring. Supreme. Shit ain't working out like they usually, you know, because people being hip to this shit. And they bussing, bussing, bussing through the, uh, the, the, the voodoo strings. Going hawk, you know, instead of David Banner. Sick of people just fucking with them. Especially when you understand, you know, oh, beauty spells. Oh, today I got a stomach instead of an ass. Oh, today I got an ass instead of a stomach. Oh, okay. Now I'm 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 swole up in the face. Oh, okay. Now, oh, okay. My nose is a little bigger today. Oh, okay. You see? Ain't nobody stupid. The world knows that kind of shit. Now. Some of y'all seeing the fun and building your alchemy or you know, working your alchemy. Queen of Wands energies. Mm-hmm. These people, stupid, snobbish, stupid and snobbish. Oh God. Deceitful, ego, crazy, interferes. Broke some of y'all up, messy. Some of y'all people talk too much. Y'all met y'all divine masculine and shared it with somebody. They turned cold and went with the karmic. Telling them shit about y'all. What kind of stupid ass shit? Just a bunch of liabilities. You don't need that shit. I'm trying to tell you. Just 
terrible. <laughs> you know, this is like a parent after getting a root off of a child, letting a child just go, you know, not interfering. However, damage control as much as possible. Oh, do we got a live wire here? Kind of shit. And literally, this is what the people looking like now. Yeah, Crip Keepers fucked up. Thought it was a game life in general. Mm -mm. Thinking somebody coming to save them. All kind of shit. No. Some of these people going into mental hospitals. Doing that mirror magic and beauty spells. All that shit. Just a snap back. Just going to snap some of them into reality. And reality is going to be rather harsh for some of these ego-based, stupid, snobbish females. <laughs> Five of Wands. Oh man, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's a lot of stupid snobbish men too. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna go into some type of depression. <laughs> it's up in a member tolly jacket. Well, what is that, Velvet? <laughs> They tried it. You know, they tried it. Mm-hmm. People been fucked up for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> some people was with, like, I don't know. Y'all dealing with some egomaniac people. Just people in your business. People turncoating. People doing all kind of shit. People trying to get you to do love spells. Okay, all right, do this. People got plans on y'all. Some of y'all got weird um, brother-in-laws that think y'all was supposed to be their other wife or some shit like that. Like, or an uncle or some shit like that. Like, okay, this is what ancestors gave me earlier today. Some of y'all, like, just say you you uh, pull up at home and then your uncle pulls up. Mind you, this is an uncle that's married to an aunt, not your blood uncle. You don't know him for shit but being your uncle. You don't know none of the shit, you know, he he may have been a cheater or some shit like that. You heard some shit, but it's not your business. It's stay out of grown folk business kind of shit. You see him at the cookout. You see him at Thanksgiving. You say, hey, uh, just regular kind of shit. Imagine those kind of people just pull up and say, hey, niece, what's going on? They already, already had a plan for you, a plot for you. That you was gonna be that woman, some type of psycho, some type of weird shit. Some of them watched y'all too. That's what my ancestors said. Some of them watched y'all in a weird way where some of y'all are um celibate, stay at home, don't date too many people, you know, kind of live a simple life, a decent woman, so to speak. They seen that, and that was kind of like their motivation to get away from some of y'all family members and then just pop up where you're at because they got somebody and then they know they're going to get you too. Kind of shit. I'm talking psychosis supreme, bro. That's why I said some of y'all may be feeling love, fake love spells. Like, you know, just think of somebody and say, I ain't never thought of that person. I'm not even attracted to that motherfucker. Kind of talking to yourself. Talking to yourself, if you're saying that to yourself, if you have thoughts of somebody, I don't care what their name is. I don't care how they're related to you or not related to you. Excuse me. You start thinking inappropriate thoughts about this person out of the blue. That's love spell shit. Where you done seen them over and over again. I ain't never thought nothing of it. I'm trying to tell you. For real, some of y'all may be dealing with somebody that's bald, that wear their hair bald, crazy bald heads. Chase them crazy. We gon' chase them crazy out of the yard. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. Some of y'all that's specific. <laughs> yeah. Some of y'all dealing with a bald head, crazy bald head. Chase them crazy. I'm trying to tell you three times, a lady, bro. Look. Bald, bald, bald. Be careful. B 
Be careful. Yeah, like they was going to be giving y'all kids and shit. I'm telling you. Oh, some maiden. Man, shit. Mm-mm. And this is a little bit too much. Roll with it, baby. D don't go physical because it's a trap. Don't let them touch you physically. It is a trap. I'm going to say it again. I think I'll say it again. <laughs> Mental illness. Psychosis. Like the fuck I said. <laughs> Uncle Prince. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all something. Oh, wee, honey, baby. <laughs> Star in reverse. They're going to die. Some of these people. Mm hmm. They got too much trauma, too much psychosis. Been doing too much. Just, just terrible. It's sad, actually. It's really sad. It really is. Mm-hmm. Unhealed, fucked up. Yeah. Fuck around, commit suicide, or just die. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Uncle Prince, I'm trying to tell you. Straight like that. Mm-hmm. It's crazy how... um. A lot of tarot now is pointing to literal death. Sometimes people were terrible, were scared. I'm going to get tarot reading. you tell me when I'm going to die. Like, uh, <laughs> sometimes it was just about transformation all the time, not actual death. You know, or, you know, alerting you that it's ancestors or something like that. Now it's like literal death all the time. Ugh. Anything else, ancestors? Mm-hmm. Insecurity, infertility, lack of self-confidence, lack of growth, domineering tendencies, carelessness, de dereliction of duty, emotionalism. Yeah, some of y'all got to get out of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of y'all are self-sabotaging because you keep looking at your other divine masculines wrong. It's just the way that it is. I did hair before, and I say that a lot on this channel because you learn a lot doing hair. You know, as far as women, once women get fixed, sometimes there's somebody working witchcraft on you too, trying to get you to stay in separation, trying to get you to see him in a fucked up light, pushing you there, want you to think like that and want you to say, yeah, they could be doing this and that, but hit da 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 da, -da and keep on with that shit. Some of y'all not getting justice because of that, you know, and some of y'all may be dealing with some insecurities, you know? For real. Some of them may be doing infertility spells on you to the degree that you can't produce. You know, not so much, especially if you got if you got an idea and they see that you have it. Oh, they work in all kind of ways. That's how I know they ain't so crazy, you know. They just get caught up in that world. And nobody ever puts a pin in their balloon to deflate their ego, their false ego, their false pride, all that shit that come along with mental illness and illusions and, you know, ungroundedness and some more shit. Domineering tendencies. These are some things that y'all going to be working on that y'all going to see in y'all self. Some of y'all see carelessness, maybe dating people you shouldn't. Because when you start valuing yourself and your worth goes up in your own eyes, when you realize, hold up, I only got me. I get one pair of feet, <laughs> one pair of hands. I got my, okay, okay. I need to really chill on talking to so many people. Like, damn, yeah, these motherfuckers ain't even. It becomes you feeling like you're casting your pearl before swine because that's what the fuck you were doing. Domineering tendencies. That's just one control, you know. I understand. Lack of growth. Some of y'all maybe too hard on yourself with that. Um, I see insecurities as y'all may beat up on yourself or on your growth as far as me. You know, get mad because you're thinking of divine masculine with the car making this and that. And then you realize he's been rooted. Somebody touched him when he was a child. He was violated. It is deeper shit going on than the shallow shit page of uh, materials. 
right on the bottom of the deck. Release superficiality. Show me y'all gonna become aware. Oh, show me that shit. It's superficial. It's nothing. It's nothingness. Somebody got extensive trauma. Emperor energy. That don't make him any less of an emperor. He has to establish himself. Listen, this is another thing the ancestors said. Some ancestors laid the foundations so solid that some people thought that they could come stand on the foundations and be disobedient to the foundation builders. You know, this is not going to happen. <laughs> so some foundations have to be broken down in order to be reestablished because of extensive trauma. People not doing their work and think that they can just stand on Somebody's shoulder or somebody work or whatever the case, be disobedient, kill them off, get the insurance money. Do all kind of ignorant ass shit. A lot of people's kids, they say it be all on kids because it do. You know, so some divine masculines have to reestablish some things in their own families, you know, because... It's short-staffed around this bitch because people been doing a lot of fucking and not a lot of fighting for the liberation of humanity. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is true. God said that man yeah, upkeep this upkeep when he gave him dominion over. And the woman is to help him. These women ain't helping these men. He's gonna lay them down, turn them inside out, use them as a tool, like in a tool belt. You know? Some of y'all are like this and they're like this. You're not the same. You know? Can withhold yourself, can check yourself, can see that you ain't nothing like none of these motherfuckers. They may say you weird because you light your candles. You would better be, you would rather be, and you better be in good company with your ancestors than in the company of some crazy ass bitches looking to cut you like jujitsu just because <laughs> of a penis that they know ain't going nowhere outside of a feel good. People that just settled. Some of these women just settled for one man to dick them all down. Some of them are your divine masculines. I mean, come on. This is not uh, leave it to beaver. Okay? Nowhere. Because <laughs> if it was, we wouldn't be looking at the shit we're looking at right now in this world. Mm-hmm. Stinky coochies. He giving up stinky coochies. Ten of wands. Burdens. Community dick. Do it to him in the bushes, in the car, in anywhere. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Just use as a tool. Yeah. Yeah. Some of y'all turn y'all backs on it. However, you start looking down. You know, because some of y'all equate success to money, which is that superficiality shit. You feel me? Yeah. They know who some of y'all are. They know y'all are trying to get y'all thing together and do y'all thing. They not green to that. However, what the fuck do they got to do with them being turned into a neighborhood penis? They didn't ever sign up for that shit. These are emperor energies. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, hey, what the fuck? Listen, it's like this. Hey, what the fuck you doing to my son? What you doing with my son? Some of these divine masculines, ancestors, let the beat build on some of these bitches. Mm -hmm. Some of their ancestors died purposely. Let they self get killed by some motherfuckers in their family or black widow or whatever the case may be. Literally, so that they can get on the other side of it and deal with these, all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Think they, they, I always tell y'all that somebody child. How the fuck do you sit up there with a son? How the fuck do you sit up there with anything and you're sitting up there treating somebody's child 
I don't give a fuck if he's 40. It's somebody's son. You got a son, you gonna say the same shit out of your mouth. If you fake care even, come on. They gonna deal with these, they dealing with these bitches, man. They don't care what you think of. They don't care that they think he ain't shit. He ain't got no money. He average, but boy, is that dick anointed. Kind of shit. That's for a reason. Who knows? Maybe that comes with a certain lineage or bloodline. For real. You don't be knowing who the fuck is who and what is what. You don't know. This way you should treat everybody kindly. For real. I don't care who people considered who I was with as bombs. Even if I called them bombs, they would know why I'm calling them that. Because you better than that. And I ain't going mother hen here. Because I'm a Virgo. And Virgos know you tend to go mother hen. There's something you got to work on. That's a weakness. I strengthen that weakness. I'm not your mother. At one time, I was trying to get to know you. However, I treated you good. If I call you a bum, when I was trying to get to know you, or after I know you, <clears throat> you will know why. And it's not because I'm trying to shit on you. It's because you know you could do better than that. But it ain't going, mommy dearest. Because this ain't that. And they're going to trap me into that stupid shit. <laughs> you know? No. Because sometimes people like correction. Because correction is attached to love, honestly. Because you give a fuck enough to correct a behavior that is taking somebody down a dark path. I'm not your motherfucking tour guide through your darkness. You know? I was when I was in business before my business got destroyed by these crazy people. Now I ain't doing shit, but what I want to do, and that's enough, because I want to help God, ultimately. Some of y'all going to have a lot of babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why don't you give up this fucking ten of wands and this stinky coochies? Some of them can't get pregnant. Don't I kind of shit to get pregnant. That's some of y'all divine masculines that's younger. In twenties. In y'all twenties. Mm-hmm. Cause he's supposed to be having all their babies with you. Mm-hmm. The ancestors ain't going for it. Mm-mm. No, blocking the fuck out of these. Who you take your hands? Hey, listen. Take your hands off Jeremiah. Take your hands off Jesse. Take your hands off Keith. Take your hands off. Goddamn Eric, take your hands off Jason. Take your hands off whoever it is, whatever the name is, Carlos. Take your hands off um, Jimmy. Take your hands off whoever, whatever the name is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's me right there. It's us right there. You hear me? For real. Some of them may have children that they lost. It's like spirit babies. There's even a guardian angel for some of these divine masculines in their 20s. Mm -hmm. Learn how to navigate in this new age of Aquarius. Justice. Mm -hmm. The reemergence. Somebody. Emancipation of somebody. Yeah, as far as y'all divine masculine is concerned. Yeah. Some people was real demonic towards um, um, interracial twins. Baby. If you don't get that arsenal up. If you a white girl, they ain't a black man, honey baby. I'm trying to tell you, if you don't get yourself back, attacking the fuck out of y'all. Messy than a motherfucker. Some of y'all got white baby daddies. Know y'all with y'all black twin. Messy as a motherfucker. <laughs> you know what? I ain't got time for this. <laughs> Y'all going to watch the trailer park comedy on Instagram. I can't remember the two that I follow. But baby, when I tell you they funny as fuck, wearing them damn mullets. Oh, 
my God. They be in trailer parks. Her background and her trailer park be having black mold. The fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the installation be showing in the walls. It be fucked up. <laughs> and she always talking about, you gonna post me on Facebook talking to her her dude. I don't know if you're a twin. I, I don't know. However, when I say hilarious as fuck, hilarious as fuck. Four cups. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, oh okay. Some of y'all see what's going on. Coming after y'all children. Trying to starve y'all out. Yeah, attacking y'all divine masculine. Yes, attacking y'all divine masculine. Some of y'all divine masculine being in a hospital and stuff. So be having it to them, all kind of stuff. Honey, when I tell you, this is a lioness energy. Trying to leave y'all as a single mother. Mm-hmm. Kill them off. Just, I mean, just rotten. Don't even understand it. Don't even understand it, y'all. Some of y'all don't understand the depths of how rotten these motherfuckers is. Rotten eggs, for sure. <sighs> Maintaining balance. Energy versus time. Some of y'all divine masculine is weighing their options. So be careful, you know. It's not that they wouldn't choose you. It's just that they're choosing more optimistic people. You know, it's like a, it's something that they got to do for their mental health or something. Like if they hearing y'all, like if they, if, if, if they follow y'all on social media or something like that. Well, y'all got a platform and y'all talking or whatever. It's just they can't take the negativity directed at them when they know what happened to them. They just didn't tell you because some of them may have had, you know, shut up spells done on them and some more shit to shut down their throat chakra. Mm -hmm. So now they're just choosing their time wisely, choosing their energy, who they who they outputting energy to. Choosing that wisely. Um, add prayer or meditation to their daily routine. Grounding, staying grounded. Looking at shit more realistically. Weighing their options. You know, because they fucked, some of them fucked up as far as housing is concerned. Mm-hmm. Yep. However, time is of the essence. And they do got to choose wisely. They do know, they do know that. However, if some of y'all are kind of shut down in your heart chakra because you're just so done, yada, 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 um, then they, would, they wouldn't see you as an option. Kitties. Hold on, y'all. They hating on me. Not the kitties, but the bitties. The silly bitties. We used to wear we all. I always say envy is one stupid ass emotion. I need some of these people swear they're intelligent. They're not. They're fucked up. Ace of voices. Wise in their own eyes. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all know. Some of y'all know. Some of y'all know. Y'all baby daddy is through out here. Some of y'all know it. Know exactly what's going on. America is under divine judgment until further notice. The ancestors. Oh, Y'all want to watch this movie called The Good Shepherd? It's a, it's a movie about the start of the CIA. Um, It's called The Good Shepherd. To me, I may have seen that movie with Matt Damon. Baby. <laughs> you talk about messy. All that shit, witchcraft. All that shit. Twin flame shit. All that shit. He had his twin in there. Lost the opportunity. Ended up getting um rooted with a love spell. 
Oh yeah, thank you, ancestors. What uh Angelina Jolie did to him in that movie was a love spell. Fake. It's something where if they get you to say during sex, if they can get you outside like it shows in the bushes, it doesn't matter. They'll say, I love you. Tell me you love me. So whatever spell work they do in order to kind of root you, in order for it to work, you have to say, I love you. They can get you to say it when you're in this passionate mood, like this kind of shit. Tell me you love me. <laughs> you know, like, I love you. <laughs> this shit is on and popping then. You got you root it. Yeah. It goes along with like the completion of the love spell. So when, if they go to a witch doctor or whatever, if that's what you want to call them, the people that practice dark arts, they do this kind of stupid shit. You got to get them to say that he loves you. And it'll become he shouldn't have said it. You see? Petty. Weird. Just come up with shit. I'm trying to tell you. So they're in a situation with a whole lot of shit. And y'all like, he know he can talk to me. And then some of y'all like, I know you sitting up there trying to ruin my interracial relationship. So we got black baby daddies and a white twin. This is all kind of shit going on. However, that movie just shows you how much rolling in the deep we're doing. Things that you don't even understand is going on. And your life is in stagnation because of it. And a lot of it is because people got rid of people's twins and put themselves in the worst tailspin as far as their bloodline, their lineage, and all that shit. But anyway, Angelina Jolie put the root on him, so then he ended up having to marry her because he's at the beach with his twin, and then he's a part of the skull and bones. So her, his, her brother was a part of the skull and bones, Angelina Jolie who he had to end up marrying because she got pregnant. The first night, she rooted him and got pregnant. It's all about money. Yeah. <laughs> it's like names. Yeah, you know, we're a part of this. Isn't that? Nothing to do with twins. He's sitting there. He met his twin spontaneously, naturally, in college. I mean, so natural. Nothing unnatural about it. It worked. It got along. And he went through some tragic shit as a child. She just knew how to handle him. Naturally. Dead giveaways, okay? They on the beach talking, chilling. And her brother pull up on the beach talking about my sister's pregnant. You know what you gotta do. I'm like, what the fuck? Twin Flames is in the, in the uh, starting of the CIA. So everything is everything. Everything is so interconnected. It's ridiculous. You would think like this isn't connected to that. Oh yeah, everything is connected to this and that. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. He ended up staying with her. Miserable life, for real. The older the boy got, the more miserable his life got. <laughs> so... They got rid he fuck, oh my God, his, his son met his twin. You could see how the decision he made to do what he did to his son's twin got him stuck with his son's mother because he wasn't man enough to take the out after he seen his twin again. They went in separation because of that baby shit. She took a hike. She already knew what it was. So... They ended up seeing each other at a, a event, orchestra or something. Somebody say, why are you telling the movie? It doesn't matter. You will want to see it now that I'm telling it. And it's some shit that I ain't saying that you're going to be like, damn, she, she didn't give all of the movie kind of shit. I'm just giving y'all the twin flame part. So she seen, they seen each other at a musical or some shit. And then they met, had dinner. He had her a cab, and then she met him for dinner. And then she ended up telling him, well, what, either at the beach, after he slept with Angelina Jolie, or after they met each other again, after their separation the first time from her getting, Angelina Jolie getting pregnant. 
she basically told him what his life would have been like with her as his twin. He knew she wasn't lying. He knew that what she was saying was true. However, he could have took the out then and still did something with his life with her. It's just like looking at the red tape. Is He's rooted, of course. He can't really articulate like I need to, like he can't be like, I need to get to my son and tell him I ain't never coming home no more. Kind of shit. Tell her it's over. Tell her brother, I'm a grown ass man. You can kiss my ass and literally retire from the CIA and become a professor dealing with anything where law enforcement was involved. What she said, I seen it doable. I'm like, he's still not taking the out. He's still about to go back to that miserable ass situation, which he did. Then he made the worst move ever by cursing his bloodline, by doing what he did to his son. It was real slick. Y'all got to see if y'all can catch it, what he did to his son. It was real slick. He didn't talk a lot. There was a reason for that. However, he did what he did to his son. And I said, oh, it's over for him and his twin. Because he did what he did to his son. His twin. You do what you do to your son's twin, it's over for you and that. You saying, fuck that. Fuck your twin. Now that's two generations. The next one, who knows? Who knows? He could have wiped out the whole thing. Nobody even know they exist no more. You know what I'm saying? It was based on true events. How it started as CIA. If I had his real name and I said it, y'all wouldn't know him more than likely. Returning to one's roots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of y'all gonna end up being right back with y'all divine mask, and some of y'all tell it with a Scorpio or Leo or Earth sign was heavy in here. Piscean energy too heavy in here. It's heavy of uh, fire um, sign, feminine energies in here. Not so much for men. The Aries energy came up. That's an emperor. That could be for anybody. Divine masculine. Yeah, they be blocking you. As long as they're alive, they're gonna block you. It's just the way it goes. I know. Some of y'all need to stop going out late by yourself. Y'all driving y'all to buy a mask and the fuck out of crazy. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all in denial that that's who y'all supposed to be with. You don't want to hear it. You want to keep going out here with these strange men. We're just making y'all double down on yourself and do some self-evaluation on what's really important. The star. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, man. Healing. They can't. Some of them can't believe it after they met y'all. How their life was like, like an open door. Like, you know, <laughs> I saw an angel shining up above. <laughs> Even in darkness for a long time, y'all, that's sad as fuck. Leave before it gets violent. Somebody. Oh, that's how bad it's got with the ladies, the, the community ladies. Now he just plays a game with them, I guess. Closed off to a sorts. Hey, call him queen. Hey, queen. Being funny. Knowing it was all about this. I didn't give a fuck about that kid or nothing. You know, oh, Bonnie, let me tell you something. Yeah, some of y'all need to protect y'all. Yeah, some of y'all going to have an awakening. As soon as y'all have an awakening, then it's going to be on and popping. Mm -hmm. Understanding the assignment. You know, I don't have time to play. You know, for real. Got a lot of shit on the line. I'm more important than what I thought. We short staff around this bitch kind of shit. Progress, growth. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all divine masculine making more progress, growth than y'all. Y'all be like, oh my God. Because y'all awakening came, then the nine of um, wands, and then divine masculine energy coming in three of staffs. Mm-hmm. Working on their solar plexus. 
and they throat chakras. You know, they were shutting them down. They couldn't talk. Talk to me. Talk to me. Like, girl, he is mummified. <laughs> the two cups. This we all gonna be. Mm -hmm. Y'all had young girls trying to drop a gang of y'all fake friends and family gossiping and shit. It's like, shut the fuck up. Let me tell you about this this silly ass person right here. JC on the game, honey. Let me tell you. So every time this dude, he plays this song. The Terry Campbell. Every time I'm in a mood, man, I swear. I was crying this morning. But... You know, tomorrow will bring a better you, a better me. You got to get up, get up, get up. Get it on to me, no. Baby, it breaks me out of it every time. I'll be like, I hate you, kind of shit. Just laugh, laugh, laugh. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I believe in children, not a future. Queen of Wands. <laughs> Queen of Wands. Yeah, man. Y'all got to get it together. Get out of that superficiality. Somebody said they thought that you was better than that kind of shit. Ten of Pentacles. Knowing y'all value. Knowing y'all worth. Mm-hmm. Realizing you shouldn't let everybody touch you. You shouldn't let everybody walk through your mind with their dirty ass feet. It's a lot of shit y'all gonna realize. Like, hold the fuck up. I'm gonna stop shaking these motherfuckers' hands at the church kind of shit. I'm trying to tell you. The emperor, I'm trying to tell you. Mm-hmm. There he is. Two of cups. Yep. Harmony between souls. Mm-hmm. They was only dealing with un unfulfillment, betrayal. <laughs> Some of them went through a divorce ending. Pro broken promises, <laughs> bitches. Always talking about they go change. I ain't, ain't never conflictual. Like to argue, distrustful, cheat on them with their family member, their friends, so called. You know, a lot of arguing, bickering, dissatisfied, <laughs> broken romance. <laughs> and then y'all, of course, cause y'all to go into separation. Mm mm. That ain't gonna work. No, they was doing a lot of shit to interracial couples. It's kind of crazy. Y'all be blocking them too, though. Y'all be cap, cap on. No, you got cap on. Can of shit. Some of y'all dealing with a church man. Ooh, y'all know y'all got the fool. Honey, y'all know y'all got to keep that stuff in your hand. Honey, I'm a routine. You hear me? For real. It's how some people, pastors, be coming to the, try to stay grounded, going to altar call. Talk about, heck, you know, going to the poor pit. Talk about, Turn to the book of barely can you barely feeling all dizzy and shit. Oh my god, these people! <laughs> now tomorrow will bring. <laughs> you gotta get up, get up, get over it, get it over. <laughs> If we try, we can to a whole nother place. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me uh, pop from this Oracle deck, Secrets of the Ancestors, Abiola Abrams, the Creator. Get y'all an Oracle message, and we're going to get up out of here. How many y'all want? Three? Okay. Oof. 
You all got them tips, honey. Come on now. That's as light as I could keep it, y'all. Because, baby, what the fuck? A cockapoo poo. She's a cockapoo poo. -poo. Yeah, some of y'all going to initiation. Some of y'all gonna have to cut off y'all hair. <laughs> you grew it out. Uh huh. You want to cut it off, poo poo hair? You gonna feel lighter than a feather too. I'm trying to tell you. You ain't gonna even care. Mm hmm. That's the shock wear off. The unknown enigma. Some of y'all know now. Stuck in the unknown. Some of y'all 44 years old. 33 years old. 22. Nasty number. <clears throat> Mother God. Miracles in motion. Mm -hmm. 42. Some of y'all 42. Some of y'all look like her a little bit. Y'all say, damn, look like me a little bit. Or your mother or something. Grandma or something. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Yeah, pretty. Mother of water, emotional self care. Mm hmm. Some of y'all gonna have to be get into that mode. You thirty. Some of y'all gonna have a lot of babies. If you don't have none, if you eighteen watching this, talk about your trials and tribulations. <laughs> some of y'all, some of y'all, the conjuring woman already and shit. I'm done. Y'all are so damn funny. Oh, Reagano. <laughs> Chosen and I can't fake it. Great, highly debated. You want it, so you hate it. Fuck them niggas that you came with. The unknown enigma. Still trying to control everything? Some of y'all, Libra, Virgo, Libra customers. Yeah, sinking around here. Huh. Still trying to control everything, huh? The answers you seek are unknowable at this moment, or the divine is not ready to give you the full picture right now. Nothing is certain. This is not a yes or no, but a pause. Trusting the unknown is about having unwavering faith, knowing in your bones that your ancestors have your back and are guiding you towards something greater. It may feel scary, but when we trust, amazing things can happen. The unknown calls us to step into a world of infinite avenues where dreams are born and miracles unfold. Let go of expectations and open yourself up to what could be. Ancestral memory. If you were close to a family member or other person when they were in the physical realm, they are likely still with you now. The unknown ancestors are also still loving and protecting you. On a soul level, we know all of our ancestors Put your hands over your heart, feel into their guidance, and affirm, just for today, I know that I am safe. Ancestral medicine. If something is out of alignment with your nervous system, Virgo, you will reject it. This includes all of your intentions, goals, dreams, and plans. It is imperative to become comfortable with being uncomfortable so that you can continue to take risks to grow, evolve, and expand. Shadow aspect. No, 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 no. The declaration, I am being guided and protected. So some of y'all are being guided and protected. Y'all need to make sure your ancestors get what they need. For real, for real. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's an all hands on deck situation, even with cats. I'm trying to tell you. You got to feed them. You got to take care of them. Because they body jump them. And cats have to learn a lesson in controlling their atmosphere and not allowing human beings, just because they're your master, obliging them, getting in trouble with God, because you letting them body jump you because they just want to be remote viewing people and watching you and being all weird and shit. It's breaking down your body. It's messing you up. You can't even vibe outside with your friends. You know, if you want to stay an alley cat or Pharrell and vibe outside with your friends, a lot of time that's why they opt to do that because it's easier for them to escape people's body jumping of them when they're in a domestic environment. They're domesticated. You got enemies. Now they body jumping your fucking cat so they can watch you through your cat's eyes. 
This is true. Get your cat to scratch you, knock over shit, all kind of shit. And then cats sometimes combat it, work it, work it out, work the energy out. If you're a good master to them, then they'll get you to set them free, set themselves free. Get out there, corral other cats. Do all kind of shit. Y'all have no idea how smart the animal kingdom is. Intelligent beyond, you know, your understanding if you don't understand. Now that I said something, you'll understand right away when you see how they move, <laughs> okay? It's so cute. It's so funny. It make you cry, make you laugh. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, y'all are... Guided and protected. You got to get your offerings. Do what you need to do. Y'all know that. Some of y'all know that. If you don't know that, you've been feeling that. And you're going to do something about it. Mother God, miracles in motion. You are the architect. This is suit of Ashe. Some of y'all say Ashe a lot. Some of y'all into your book. It's your business. You are the architect of your own existence. When you tap into the wisdom of the great mother that you have within, heaven and the earth are connected through you, but still you doubt yourself. Know you now. It says believe in you now. I'm saying know you. Know yourself now. That's, that's how people get you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you don't understand. I always understood people were trying to get me. And then my parents did something where they told people I was slow or some shit like that. I don't know. It just set them up for the fucking fall. However, when you don't talk a lot, people can pin a tail on a donkey. Because you don't talk. They think that they could just talk for you. You know, big mouths. Like, okay, just because I'm not talking, that don't mean just put words in my mouth and get to fucking talking for me. And I don't even think that. I wouldn't even say that. That's not what I meant. Kind of situation. So y'all got people that take advantage of the fact that either you don't talk or uh, like you don't know yourself. Like they know you better than you know yourself kind of people. You see? You got to know yourself. No, yeah, I know me. You don't know me more than like I know me. And I ain't talking tarot. No, because tarot would be more accurate than some of these motherfuckers I'm picking up on. And motherfucker don't even know you. It's just a general reading. And they're reading your energy and giving you your story. And sometimes stories are interconnected because of the same type of energy the title attracts or the channel attracts or whatever the case may be. You get more accuracy with them knowing your ass without knowing you. It's 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 non-biased. Don't let people speak for you. You can speak for yourself. Birthing miracles is easy for you. Trust your inner voice. You are being divinely guided and are much wiser than you think. Be easy and deliberate as you move forward, but do move forward. Ancestral memory. Mother God shows up as Yoruba goddess Aya Nyla with the nurturing energy of protection, love, and support. Her energy is ancient and maternal. She is the primordial source of all existence, mother of all of the gods and all living things. We are all her children. Ancestral medicine. Aya Nyla is a mother goddess energy. Balance your yin energy to bring the healing you require. Y'all got to tap into y'all yin energy. Some of y'all are single mothers or some of y'all just single women held it down for a long time and you became a man. So you are me, what the fuck? You got to tap into your feminine energy, like overdrive. Just like I said, you got to go overdrive on protecting your energy, protecting your property, protecting your children, stuff like that. My child, receive your wisdom, receive your guidance, receive your truth and well-being. Your declaration, some of y'all are going to see this. Some of y'all going to see this in the store, and it's really going to be um, confirmation. Uh, all things are possible. Y'all going to see that. You know, like a picture, some of y'all going to be able to hang it somewhere. This is a declaration, all things are possible. These people look at y'all like y'all are weird. And they really the ones that are weird. They did a lot of mirror magic. They're looking at you, but they're seeing themselves. And they make it say, you're weird. You see? Yeah. Crazy as fuck. Mother of water. Emotional self-care. 
Take care of you. You are forgetting yourself. Listen to your inner voice. Trust the intuitive guidance coming your way. Your powers have never steered you wrong. You have only neglected to trust them. All of the soul work you have done so far is paying off. Take better care of your heart. See, y'all closing your heart chakra off. You got to stop that because that's linked to yin energy. You got to be more feminine, more open to who you know you need to be. Not none of these bozos. Listen. It's a lot out here. And they looking to hook up to get you to play some video games and watch Netflix all day while eating some pizza. And make you think you got it mad. And they're a straight vampire. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> it says, believe who people show themselves to be. Believe what your third eye shows you. I say, no. Who people are showing you to that they are. No. You see what you see, you ain't tripping. And then, no. What your third eye is saying, too. On top of the two eyes on your face. Okay. Because, honey, you don't even need your third eye out there. Dead giveaways every fucking where. This ancestor rules all things when it comes to our emotions. It's a pretty card. This reminds me of, uh, what's my girl name? Jess Hilarious. She pregnant now. I don't know. Somebody's pregnant. It's going to get pregnant. You got to prepare for pregnancy. Some of y'all are coming in tune with y'all. More in tune with y'all body. Not giving a fuck that you gain some weight. Don't care. Sick of everything. You know, just sick of yourself, sick of the perfection, sick of the superficiality, weaning yourself off of it bit by bit. She rules all things when it comes to our emotions. She also has healer priestess energy, but you don't want this to be wounded healer energy. Honey, can I get an amen? I cannot stand that shit, wounded healer call me that shit again it's like somebody calling me a beautician when i did hair call, call me that shit again i'd rather be called a cosmetologist than a fucking beautician and a fucking call me a healer i'm not a wounded healer by his stripes even you know what i'm talking about but you don't want this to be wounded healer energy. Be sure to love up on yourself so that your cup is full enough to give to others. <clears throat> yourself first. Charity starts at home. Ancestral memory. The mother of water finds us here as Yimmy Ya. So we're about to get pregnant. A lot of babies. Yoruba, Orisha of motherly love and the ocean. Really funny children. I heard you know, really funny children. This is good. Originally a river goddess. She crossed the sea with her children to spread divine love, mercy, and compassion. She is a guardian, the source of water and life. Ancestral medicine. For many of your ancestors, embodying love was a liability. Being vulnerable left them open to being hurt in perilous situations, which you're still in. When you choose the power of openness and vulnerability, you heal them. You do not need to make choices from fear and lack in the same way they did. Some of y'all got an ancestor. It's the Queen of Cups, Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or Scorpios, this buds for you. Declaration, I am filled with the power of love. Power of love. Whoa. <laughs> that don't make me go rob a Kelly up in there. All right, y'all. Take it easy. I'll be back. Inshallah. Love and light.